Hello, Amakers. McIntyre here. I want to show you something. I want to show you the way that I rigged up the end channels on the survival hammock so that you can ungather it without losing the strap that is threaded through this channel. So let me set this camera down and show you what's inside here. See, you pull this little orange line and out comes a short am steel strap, a loop in each end. That's not how you use it. You leave it buried. See, what you do is you pull the strap through to the other end using the little line that stays in there. A little spectra fish line. So you fish this strap right through and while you're doing that you gather in your hammock, right? Now here's the other end. Meanwhile you think, whoa, you pull the other end in. That's all right. It's down here. Put my pinky in that loop and I'll fish out the other end. Here it comes. Voila. There's the other end. I just shove that through that loop. Now my hammock is gathered and on the end of this I put my whoopee sling. You just have a little bit of spectra which you can bind up and stow back inside the channel if you like. That's one thing you can do with it. Right before you cinch it you just stuff this down inside the channel and you're all set. There you go. Your end is gathered. You have the little Dyneema strap to put your whoopee on. And you're all set. That's how the end of the survival hammock is rigged. Now let me show you. When you ungather it, I'm sure you got it figured out already. You just stretch it out. When you use this as a bivy, you, just, you ungather it, and the little loops, the little grow grain loops on the corners, are what you stake it out with. Pretty good, huh? Nice and simple. Howdy, folks. McIntyre here. Iron K there. Kieran is showing you the uh, survival hammock in mode one as a hammock, as a double layer hammock. All right, he's sitting in it right now. So, Kieran, show us how you lie in that hammock. All right. There he is lying in it. Okay, so, mode one as a hammock. Works pretty good, don't it, buddy? That it's comfy. Cool. All right, now we're going to show you how it works in bug nap mode. Okay, now Iron K is going to demonstrate how you get out of hammock mode and into bug net mode. All right, so he's sitting in the hammock in the normal double layer hammock mode right now. First thing he does is tighten up the little non-structural ridge line that'll hold the bug net off of his face. It's got a uh, preset that he's taking it to and just putting a half hitch on there. And then you just put the hammock on by reaching into the double layer opening. See, he puts it on and he sits in the other layer. And there you go. The bug net is held off his face. There's plenty of uh, material on this bug net layer to... Uh, you get more on a diagonal, buddy. There you go. So even on a diagonal, there's plenty of material on the top layer, the bug net layer. And 
and the openings just sort of fall closed. Here's the big opening. On this side is the 18 inch opening. At the feet, right down here, these openings rarely ever fall apart. They just stay closed, the foot opening. So there you go. All right, now show us how you get out of it in bug net mode. Now this is a 1.1 layer hammock. Both both layers, are, pardon me, both layers are 1.1 ounce nylon, and Kieran weighs 180 pounds, so that works fine for him. Now after you get out of it in bug net mode, what do you do? You slack off this non-structural ridge line. He's just going to take that slippery hitch out and pull the excess back out. And now flip it back into hammock mode. Flip it over. There you go. There you go. Now we're back in hammock mode. All right. Thank you. Next, we'll show it as a bivy in mode three. Okay. The first thing we did to go into bivy mode is we took the hammock down and removed the whoopies, leaving these short straps that gather it. Now, to make it a bivy, I'll hold this, Kieran, if you would remove the gather, see? Just pull that loop out, okay, run it right through there, now stretch the corners of the nylon, leave that alone, Stretch the corners of the yeah, that's fine. Stretch the corners of the nylon out. Yep, that'll disappear in there. Yep. See? Now that that uh, strap that gathered the ends is captured inside there by the by the orange spectra line. So see, that's how we're going to regather it. All right. So there you go. That's how you ungather it. Real simple, without having to worry about how are you going to get that strap back into the sleeve, right? And I can tell you that Kieran just did that without ever having seen how it was rigged prior to this moment. Okay, now we've staked out the bivy sack with four stakes and on the ground. And I uh, have to tell you that here we've got this end, the foot end, staked out somewhat tight. The head end we have... We've staked it out with about a foot of slack. We probably need a little slack inward as well as lengthwise, okay? So I've just moved it in a little. So there's slack at the head end because you need to be able to, well, you'll see. Now, Iron K is going to slide in through the double layer slit. put his head on the head end. Don't pull it towards you there like that. Just pull you underneath. Don't pull the you don't pull the bivy sack. You pull your, you move yourself. There you go. Move yourself toward the middle and leave the bivy sack staked out. Now you see what we've done is I've got this orange line on here to simulate a tarp ridge line. So if you had a tarp ridge line, don't hold the top, I'll get it off. Right. If you had a tarp ridge line, that's what would hold the, the bug net up off of you. All right? Now he's got his feet in the bottom. The uh, bug net is below his face. There's plenty of room at the top. Reach your arms up above you and push that out. That's where you could stow your pack and everything. Yeah, All right? You've got three feet above your head for a volume for the pack and all. And just as in number two bug net hammock mode, the top layer just drapes down around you and makes a seal where, the, where that four foot slit is. Now if you need to, you can reach out. Reach to your left. You find that slit to get your arm out. And if you had to jump up and run because there's a bear or something, there's a, there's a slit for each foot. But we're not going to demonstrate that. All right, I've let go of your ridge line. Now you can show us how you get out. Nothing to it. Thank you very much, Iron K. You're welcome.
Okay, Kieran's going to show us how to put this thing on. You get in it, kind of walk down to the foot slits. Go ahead and put your shoes on if you like. All right. Feet go out the foot slits at the bottom. Arms go out the slits. And then you have to gather the crotch up to hold it up. Reach down and pull it on up. I mean, reach down through the outside. Just grab the crotch and pull it up. There you go. You could also do that where you, uh, uh, a piece of line as a belt would, uh, would suffice as well. Now he's got the thing on with a, a bug net hat. And, uh, you know, if you were really desperate for an outer layer garment, this could work. Ready to run from bears. <laughs> bears would run from you, I think. <laughs>